must still be hiding. Got to be hiding in here somewhere. Maybe there's a trail. Blood. It hurt. Stop! No closer! I'm not with Trinity. My name is Lara, and your gun isn't loaded. I can see the cylinder is empty. The firing pin never worked anyway. You're hurt. I just need to sit down for a moment. Lara, was it? I'm Nadia. I could use your help. What can I do? My grandfather snuck out of the village in the night. I think he's headed for the Wicked Vale, where the witch Baba Yaga lives. I was trying to catch up with him when the invaders caught me. Before I was born, the witch killed my grandmother. Grandpa always talked about revenge, but I never thought he'd actually go through with it. There isn't much time, and I'm in no condition to go myself. We have to find him. I'll head out that way and see if I can pick up... Trail. Oh, thank you. The path to the veil is through the cave to the east of here. Worn. <sighs> Laura, I found a radio on one of the invaders you killed. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. I can monitor the invaders' frequencies from here while I patch myself up. I'll let you know if I hear anything useful. What more can you tell me about the Wicked Veil, Nadia? My people stay far away from that place. They have for centuries. When the Soviets were here, they tried to build an outpost in the Veil. But they aimed at Baba Yaga, and she drove them all mad. Grandpa told me all about her. She lives in a magic house that can walk with the legs of a bird. Do you believe all that? The house with the bird legs? I trust Grandpa. He was in the Gulag when the Soviets took my grandmother into the Vale to help them study the ruins. The witch killed her, and he's never forgotten that. But... a witch? Straight... Shit! Steady. I'm picking up a transmission. You need to hear this.
no need to go inside the old temple. Head down to the wooden walkway along the cliff. There should be a rope leading to it. That path will take you straight to the veil. A ceremonial cloth worn by... made it that far at least. You're almost into the veil. <sighs> Nadia, I think I found your wicked veil. Nadia. My granddaughter. I don't know if it's Baba Yaga, but there's something out here. Be careful. This is her land. Initial contact was made with the elderly native male. be dreaming. Is it real? I can't be. Just keep moving. <laughs> Laura, Laura. Dad? No, it can't be. No, wait. Wait, where am I? How, how far does this path go? It's not real, not him. Dad, stop, please. God, no, got to get out of here. There is a truth behind it all. I just want to leave, please. No, no, this isn't.
Hallucinating. God, I hope I was. Hallucinating? There, there is a flower in a valley that can bring on visions, but the effects are too weak. Any idea what this place is? I see ducks and pipes. Soviet from the looks of it. It has to be the outpost the Soviets built to study the ruins. My grandmother was a scholar and they brought her here to help with her research, but... That was the last time Grandpa ever saw her. There was only one survivor, an officer, who stumbled out a few weeks later. He said the witch made them do things. Someone's been in here, recently, building on top of the ruins. What do you see? Some sort of makeshift distillery. It smells just like the flowers. Shit! Dwarfs! She's refining the pollen, weaponizing it. There's no magic here, Nadia, just someone very clever. Wait, but if it is just a person, then won't the pollen affect her too? If she can resist it somehow, then so can we. It's been weeks since these bastards dragged me from the Gulag. From Yvonne and my daughter to this. I found something. One of the prisoners wrote down a formula that might counteract the effects of the pollen. It has to be for my grandmother. The witch killed her, and now she's going to help save Grandpa, just like in one of his stories. Uh, Nadia. Have faith, Lara. Hop back to the Soviet installation where we met. I'll help you find what you need. I don't have the words to describe what I just... <laughs> All right, Nadia, I'm back at the installation. Any advice on where to start looking? Okay, first, the seed pots. The flowers grow inside the caves around there. There's never enough of them to make you sick, so you should be able to gather some safely. The livers should be easy. The deer around there feed on the flowers, so you'll just need to track them down. As for the insecticide, I have an idea where we might find some. Grandpa taught me to read Russian, so I'm going through some old equipment manifests to see if I can find out where they stored it. I'll let you know when I find it. All right, I'll start gathering the other supplies now. <sighs> it's the flowers. Just need the seed pods now.
Laura, I got something you'll want to hear. I'm patching you in. Bravo team is still MIA. We haven't got any transmissions since the distress call. We're gonna need to send a rescue party. Finish up your patrol around the Soviet installation. See if you can pick up the native girl's trail. She's involved in Bravo's disappearance somehow. And we need better intel before we send more of you in there. Copy that. Can you get somewhere safe? I'm in one of those old safe houses, and I have stairs set outside. Worst case, there's a tunnel underneath I can use to escape, but I still need to finish going over the manifest. Is this normal for you, Laura? I'm not used to it. You know, people trying to kill me. I don't think it's something you can get used to. Just stay safe. from grandmother's notes? Phenothiazine. I think I found it. They stored it in the lower levels of the copper mill where they used it to deal with the termites in the summer. Are you sure it's the same chemical, Nadia? I'm sure it's the chemical grandmother's recipe mentioned, but I am not sure that it will be safe to drink. Suppose we'll find out. I'll head there now. Found it. I'm mixing the ingredients now. 
Any word on that patrol? Just picked up another transmission. They're on the move. Where are they now? They're... Oh, no. They're headed straight for you. You might be able to sneak past them, but it's probably too late. Sorry, Laura. Damn. Get clear! Fire in the hole! Advancing, cover me! She's flanked! We got a man down! Keep me covering fire! Ready to see if the antidote works? I'm not exactly looking forward to it, to be honest. Fire in the if hole. it does, I'll make my own and meet you. I'll let you know when I get there. Get clear! Only enough for two doses. Got to make them count.
It's working, Nadia. Everything looks... Normal is the wrong word, but nothing like the last time. Good. I've made my own antidote and enough for Grandpa, if we find him. I'm on my way to meet you now. Scarecrows, of course. This can't be the same place. I was lost in here. Nadia, what do you know about these ruins out here? Even before the witch made her home there, our people avoided the veil. The founders were building a shrine out there, but something happened to them. None of us have been in there in generations. <clears throat> be careful. Even if your visions weren't real, that place is still dead. Just wolves. Damn. I'm up on the first of the ruins now. This doesn't look like a shrine. This was something functional. I see ropes and wooden gears. The founders built lifts elsewhere in the valley to move people or supplies between the peaks, but they've all fallen apart now. That has got to be what it is. See if you can make your way up to the top. I'll be right there. I'm in the canyon now. I'll let you know when I've arrived. I'm almost there, just behind you. Don't go anywhere without me. Oh, look at that! The witch has kept the lift running all this time. It looks like she even made a few improvements, but I don't think those ropes will survive many more trips. It only needs to make one. Two. I'd like to come back down. Eventually. <sighs> Try pulling that lever over on the platform. Maybe it'll get us moving. Your witch is clever. Everything in this veil is arranged to perpetuate the myth of Baba Yaga, and the pollen does the rest. The last time I saw the lift, it looked nothing like this. What did you see? Just as the legend says, a house walking on giant bird legs, but without the pollen, it's just an old contraption. I'm sorry. I was so sure of Grandpa's story. She's Russian, someone who knew the myth well. Nadia, it's possible that your grandfather will know who she is. He was a prisoner in the Gulag, you said. I didn't say that. Not exactly. Grandpa was a god. My grandmother was the prisoner. She was a brilliant scientist, and they brought her out to the Vale to help study something in the ruins. But then the witch came. Grandpa never forgave himself. Killing the witch won't bring her back, but I understand. 
Let's just hope we can reach him in time. Nadia, come quick! No. Nadia? How? Oh. Uh, it's the pollen. Here, let me. Grandpa, can you hear me? I tried. I couldn't save her. I tried. Shh, it's okay now. I'll stay with Anora. It's time. You only have one more dose remaining. Make it count. She has to be inside. This is it. Bravo team. The missing soldiers, they're here. It's her. Always been her. Oh God, what has she done to them? <laughs> Dizzy, no, I need that last antidote. This is the last of it. When you are dead, you too shall serve me.
Keep her pinned down or she'll cut herself free. No more. I know who you are. I can only imagine what you've gone through to stay alive. <laughs> you have no idea. It's over now. You don't have to live like this anymore. Serafima. But you died. They, they, they told me you died. Will she be all right? I don't know. But it won't be easy for any of you. Family never is. Oh, I know. I know. Thank you, Lara, for everything. I give them a little time alone while I look around some more. I'm gonna look around a little longer. Maybe pick up some of her things to bring back to the village. Thank you, Laura. We'll see you soon. Uh -huh. 